Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Al Soma's new SPC card released today. As you guys know, I've been doing the bronze pack method for the squad. So the Saudi Arabian League for the bronze pack method is one of the most effective leagues to do it for. So we were able to unlock this card for a solid... 10k left but we basically got the card for free because we obviously still make a lot of money from the bronze pack method from the packs that we got and all that good stuff so bronze pack method coming in really clutch for me to unlock this card quickly for you guys we're looking at a card that is six foot three with high low work rates three star skill moves with a four star weak foot so four star weak foot is fine if his base card stats for shot power and finishing is good, okay? He also has high-low work rate, so that automatically suggests that he's going to make an incredible striker. But we're going to see what his actual stats are in-game. He has 89 acceleration with 89 sprint speed, but big key thing here. He has 95 finishing, 90 attacking positioning, 99 shot power with 89 composure, okay? His dribbling stats with the engine chemistry style are going to be significantly improved right instead of having 86 agility with 83 balance he's going to have 91 agility with a 93 balance and then his three main dribbling stats are going to be increased to essentially be be, be perfect in game that with his 89 composure should be really good in game obviously the only thing that's really lacking with this card is the four star skill moves but other than that he looks like a brilliant card okay passing stats are also there with the engine chemistry style giving him a plus 10 for long passing plus five for short passing even if you were to get this card on seven chemistry he looks like a really good card to have up top right now obviously the links are a little bit difficult with him because the only link you can really give with him is a syrian links right but he looks like an incredible card in game he also has a physical presence in game with 99 strength 90 stamina um 72 jumping not relevant don't really cross the ball too much with him but then he has his heading accuracy at 94 as well in regards to traits we have the power header trait leadership trait and the power free kick trait not all too relevant for the play style that i play in game anyway so nothing too crazy over there so guys in all honesty we're looking at an absolutely brilliant card in regards to a lot of different stuff man especially with the engine chemistry style boost because his base card stats for finishing are already really good when you have 95 finishing with 99 shot power it's already going to suggest that his finishing is going to be really really good in game and his four star weak foot could potentially feel like a five star weak foot because he does have the composure so if he feels like he has any sort of pressure on him he's probably going to be able to defend those situations really really nicely so this is the team that we're using nothing too crazy just like a generic Serie A team that we had before for player reviews that we do in general um, in regards to the in-game custom tactics we will be using our uh, normal ones that we normally use with possession based play style for the attack pressure on heavy touch for the defense I feel like I really want to try out his high low work rates with the possession based play style because I want to see if he's still going to make those aggressive runs forward but if he's going to choose the right runs right uh, players like Kenny Dalglish Mbappe George Best all have great off the ball movement now they have certain things on their cards that make them not that great right in regards to dribbling passing and all that kind of stuff but off the ball movement you guys know is a really big thing for me and that's what I hope this card is going to have in regards to instructions we are not going to tell him to get him behind we're just going to tell him to come back on defense because he has the stamina to be able to do that so um, it should be an interesting card to review hopefully he's really really good on the attack because I mean, he looks really good, so let's go try him out with the engine chemistry style and see how he plays in-game. This card's going to be pretty expensive now, unless you do the bronze pack method because of the fact that people have been, you know, buying these players like crazy recently. It's definitely not going to be the price that it is on footbin, that's for sure. Oh, he's pretty big in-game. He actually looks massive in-game. Okay, so he's not too aggressive to push to the sides in those positions, which, again, not a bad thing. Let's see what he does over here once you get to this position here. Yeah, he starts to utilize the empty position instantly, which is great. That's a little space I want my strikers to work with constantly. His movement is good to get back into the middle position as well. Very nice. Boom, boom. First time shot from that angle. Not a great shot across goal, but FIFA finishing is weird like that. You guys know those aren't the most consistent ways to score, but... I did expect him to score in that position. First time fake shot, get inside. Ooh, he would have done a nice little bounce touch right there too. 
producers. What do you think we should expect to see from him, Lee? Well, Dehai moves here. Plays off of my dribbles. Rotates to the other position. That's perfect. We get the space right here for that near post strike. We score that opportunity. So, again, off the ball movement. Very important for Al Solon right there. You can see that... He doesn't continue on that one run that he was initially making. He decided to change his run because he was playing off of the dribbles that I was doing. And that's a very, very important thing to do with strikers. So it's good that he has that capability about him for sure. Okay, so this guy is just messing around. So we're just going to go ahead and leave this game because I'm not going to waste time doing this right now. So <laughs> I'm not too aggressive there to push up into that area. I wonder if it's like one of those things where it's like if he has like 95 attacking position, if he does a little bit more quicker. But again, it's something that you can work with, of course, right? It's not like a bad thing. His positioning is very uh, central oriented. He is playing off of my dribbles really nicely, which is very important. He even comes for support over there in that situation. His dribbling isn't uh, isn't like crazy responsive. Like obviously the gameplay is not great right now, but it's not obviously like a crazy responsive dribble part because again, I, I always tell this to people. I feel like cards in regards to dribbles and whatnot will feel very similar to what their base card stats are telling them most of the times. But um, the engine chemistry style is definitely improving the dribbling, if that makes sense. Finesse shot from that angle. Ooh, great finish right there. Again, base card stats of 95 finishing, 99 shot power. Definitely noticeable for this card. Um, he's definitely going to score those really nicely. Goalkeeper was transitioning back really quickly, and he still picked out the angle really nicely right there. Great finish. I do feel like he's going to be best utilized on the uh, balance instruction for sure. I don't I don't feel like he needs anything else. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel like he needs anything else, to be honest. I don't think I need to get in behind or anything like that. He's playing off of his... Attacking positioning well. Not as much as I'd like it to be, but he's playing well enough with it um, from the balance instruction. He's offering himself really nicely in certain positions that I want him to offer himself. All that jazz, right? Uh, we got really lucky right here. Might get a penalty. We don't. Okay, so a little bit of movement right there. Gets back into the striker position for that pass right here. And then a lot of FIFA mumbo jumbo right there. Could have gone to a good position over there. First touch, not too bad under pressure. If he had like 82 composure, I think this card would really suck. I think he needs that 89 composure. Because his dribbling is not like crazy responsive, like I said. Even his first touch when he receives pressure from the defender is not amazing, but it's like good enough, right? If the, pre if the composure was a little bit lower, it wouldn't be ideal for this card. Let's see what he chooses to do here. So he's running here. We do the skill move here. Ooh, good positioning. A little bit of extra dribbles right there to open up the space. I could have shot that instantly, but I just wanted to see what he was like from this small little left stick dribbling. If he would do it quick enough. Does he stick to the side position there for long? No, he goes back into the middle quite quickly. Doesn't take too long. He's already back there. Good left stick dribbling. Little heel to heel. We don't get the heel to heel off. Yeah, his, his left stick dribbling is not too bad in all fairness. I want to see if he's actually good at taking free kicks. Let's see if he has good free kick stats. He has okay free kick stats. Doesn't have curve, so I'm assuming it's going to be around... Eh, I would say that's about right. Oh, hits the wall right there. Not enough power on it. A little bit of shielding right there. That's a nice thing to have. His body type is really big in game. It doesn't feel like it's average. You can see it's a little bit stockish, so that's what kind of like slows down his dribbling a little bit, but is it worth to have? Absolutely. His positioning is great. From the dribble? Okay, so I had a feeling that wasn't going to work, right? So from the dribble, that little emphasis that he puts on the ball, you still need to touch the ball one more time right there because obviously when you have players like Neymar and whatnot, they do that specific skill move really quickly and smoothly that you don't have to take the extra settled touch. But in that situation right there, I did want to try the shot with Alsoma from the little emphasis that he did right there. And obviously it wasn't great, but situations like that, you have to take that little small touch to make the shot more consistent. Very stockish player in game. Definitely very stockish. I do like his positioning in the striker position. I like I like the runs that he chooses to make and stuff. He's not uh, making runs that make no sense, you know, which is good. 
Bangs off the left and the right attacking mid. Good run right there. A little touch. Go for the near post right here and then shoot from that angle. Just a regular shot. Yeah, so right there you may want to go for like a chip shot, finesse shot, but he's pretty, he's pretty fun so far. Waiting for that little movement into the middle, which he does instantly. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have gone backwards there from the time. Yeah, he's pretty fun so far. He's uh, he's not like amazing, but he's a fun card so far. I want to force. Oh, dude, I forced the run with him right there, just to see how fast he would come back into position from the offside position. He did it really quickly. Bam, bam, little lob. Ah, the lob sucked right there. The lob was good. That would have been a great goal, maybe potentially. Oh, I actually scored it. Let's go. <laughs> I'll Soma's free kick. He has like no curve. That's why I push it so far to the left side. How did he actually score this? I kind of want to see because like I didn't like did it hit his player and go in or did it hit the post and go in? The the little transition that they do for the free kicks, it's not good enough to see. Oh, wow. He had a fantastic free kick right there. <laughs> All right, guys, so final verdict on Alsoma's card. Uh, it's one of those cards where I thought it would play significantly better with the engine chemistry style. But like I said, guys, if you take a look at his base card stats, his agility and balance is low. So it's like one of those things from time to time, the dribbling feels significantly better, right? But with the engine chemistry style, it definitely doesn't feel like these stats for sure. But he definitely does get improved with the engine chemistry style. Um, the 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed was nice for certain areas because his, his off the ball move with his high low work rates is not too bad right i think if he had like 94 95 attacking positioning it'd be significantly better but 90 is okay for him the shot power at 99 and the finishing at 95 is nice as well but he still has to take those specific shots uh if you take a shot with his five or four star weak foot um it doesn't feel like a five star it's not like Mane's card where you could take shots with his left foot and it feels like a five star because his shooting stats are just absolutely god tier um, his passing was okay with the engine chemistry style too. I think it definitely helped it out a lot. The 90 stamina obviously helps because he does run quite a bit. He always moves around the pitch really nicely. Um, it is a shame that he doesn't have the four-star skills because I think if, he's, if he was a four-star, four-star player, he'd be really fun to use. But he's still a fun card regardless. If you guys unlock this card through the bronze pack method, it's a cool concept card to have in your team. He's not as amazing as I thought he could initially have felt, but... Um, he's still a fun card regardless. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I will try to get Harry Maguire for you guys today. And I have a lot of Premier League Team of the Season cards to review today as well. So be sure to stay tuned for that because we have a lot of reviews to do today, boys. All right. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. I'll see you guys for the next video.